they got all the money and they want the rest of it. Yeah. They, 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 they want them crumbs in your pocket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Mano. Open then uh, you guys get your coffee. I know. Delicious. Morning. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yeah. Happy New Year. I came back to the place. Mag-exercise tayo tuwing umaga, tuwing umaga, tuwing umaga. Mag-exercise tayo tuwing umaga, upang ang katawan natin ay sumigla. Mag-exercise tayo tuwing umaga, tuwing umaga, tuwing umaga. Mag-exercise tayo tuwing umaga, upang ang katawan natin ay sumigla. They say West Side is bad, but I think this West Side is one of the best here in Southern California to live. We moved here to Long Beach on the 70s. There's a lot of Filipinos here because there's the, there's the Navy housing here. The uh, U.S. Navy is still here in Long Beach. And the apartment was almost all Filipinos there. Lancer, still there. <laughs> we stayed there for quite a while before we moved to this house. I came here in 1981, but my husband came here in 1979. We arrived in Long Beach in January of 1982. My wife actually wants to go to Long Beach because we have relatives here also. A lot of Filipinos uh, already come into Long Beach. Military dependent because of the base is active here, petitioning their parents, their brothers and sisters. That's when Filipinos in Long Beach started growing up. Most of the Filipinos my age who came here brought their parents to take care of their kids. When we were looking for a house, the two nanas are with us, and we were about to buy a house in a Wrigley area. And then they, were, they went with us and they said, oh, we looked like we were thrown away somewhere because they couldn't walk to the store or whatever. And so they, they really don't like the place. So we found a place here, which is like walking distance to the post office, to the church. There's the bus there, the Filipino store. Very close to school, close to the freeway. Close to Disneyland, Knott's Berry Farm, airport, close to the ocean, beach. All the things are here. Mm -hmm. You have everything here, actually. And the climate is really, really nice. It really made sense for us to stay here. So we started to love it and settled down in Long Beach. Our community here like is middle lower class. It's not a middle upper class, it's middle lower class. It's, that's why the church is uh, always short of funds. <laughs> we experience a lot of stuff here, good and sometimes not very good because sometimes we have good neighbors, sometimes we have bad neighbors. The neighborhood, uh, from the first time we came here in Long Beach was a little bit uh, shaky. There is a lot of gang violence in the early 80s and uh, 90s. It happened to us one time. I have this house fixed. We have the outside text coded. We have the garage painted and stuff like that. Then after a week, there was a graffiti on the door of my garage. That what makes me so mad because there's a lot of gangsters here that time. But when I talked to the person, I told them that those gangs now is just like a group of friends like us during our time. We have friends, we're having fun, but we never, never do something foolish in our neighborhood because your neighborhood's going to protect you, is help you in time of need. But if you're doing some bad stuff in your neighborhood, they're not going to help you. That's what I told them. Let's protect your neighborhood. For a long, long time, you don't see any graffiti. <laughs> yes. I think most all communities, you know, need to be better organized. And many times the people have to get engaged. They have to realize that 
what they want to have happen and what they want to see happen, they have to be a part of that to make it happen. But sometimes they need catalytic forces to get them going, like the Filipino migrants. It's, it's a catalytic force that help people to do things that they haven't even thought about doing. I'm warming up my Harley. <laughs> the Filipino Migrant Center, we've been focusing here on the west side of Long Beach. You know, we really want to educate, organize, and mobilize uh, regular folks, regular families and workers, youth and elderly, all the people here, so they can actually see a better change for their communities. Especially on this side of the city, there's not a lot of resources, there's not a lot of money, even though these communities have been here for such a long time. So we actually had two volunteers. Uh, one was Manong Oscar, who's like a longtime West Side Long Beach resident. Another one was Kuya Monching. Both of them have been trying to help us with education and outreach. So Manong Oscar uh, was talking to us and saying, you know what, the only way that you can really reach Filipinos is find a place where Filipinos gather anyway. I noticed there's a lot of Filipino seniors who walk around this park, Hudson Park, here in West Long Beach. Filipinos are so shy, very shy, even at this date. They're afraid that they will see other people that they don't know of. That's why they are trying to unite with only their, uh, let's say, their hometown people and so on and so forth. It's like most of us, we only know our family. It's like my family here. Right here on Baltic, it's 80% Filipino from our province. Sometimes they don't want to be mixing uh, or uh, working with other Filipinos that has a different language. That's uh, one of our weaknesses. So if you compare my life in the Philippines and here in America, it's a bit different. In the Philippines, you're Filipino in your life. But in America, it's a different race. So the Filipinos here, you're Filipino in your life. So the Filipinos here, Pagdating ko, medyo, medyo may pag-alok sila sa pariho nilang mga Pilipino. Hindi ko alam kung anong, mga, anong nangyari sa mga Pilipino dito. Siguro, yung mga Pilipino ay uh, medyo alok sa pariho nilang Pilipino kasi may mga Pilipino na manluloko sa pariho nilang mga Pilipino. Hindi tulad ng ibang mga kalahi dyan. Uh, I admire uh, yung mga Mexican dito na medyo united sila compare sa mga Pilipino. That's why I told them why can we be united? Let's start the um, this health and fun walk. We don't have the name yet. It's just a Filipino uh, gathering before and then Alex thought about hey, let's make it a health and fun walk uh, club. So he started inviting all of his friends, everybody he th that he knew. And then the very first day, I think it was September 2014, a Saturday, suddenly we had like a group of Filipino walkers who were here. And we started talking to them about the Filipino Migrant Center. And we just started walking with them, doing something they already like to do anyway. Walk, exercise, be with their friends. And the very first day, because at that day, uh, I attend the mass at eight o'clock. And then, you know, usually after the mass, there is a announcement. So it was, Alex, who was uh, the one who talked that there is the FMC that will be held in Hudson Park, inviting people to have conversations, foods, music. <laughs> so I was aware because it's just in front of my house. I walk anyway every day if I have the time. So Oka, for a long time, he was talking about that he want to have a group of people that, you know, talking, maybe walking, relaxing, and talking, stuff like that, then it so happens that there's one with Oka, with all this, so I just go join the group. I think my wife was the one who started uh, going at first, and then I joined, I followed her. I joined the FMC Walking Club when it first started and it got me excited because it's the very first time the Filipinos in the West Side have been brought together and work on some issues to improve ourselves. You know, every day I have to walk. If they don't come with me, you know, my neighbors to, to walk, I just walk by myself and 
I passed by walking club and they invited me, come on, come on, we, we have some food. But I just ignored because I'm not, you know, I was not used to like just mingle, you know, if I don't know anybody. But I make it a point, oh, I'm just gonna go walk ahead of them so nobody will ask me to join them. <laughs> <laughs> that was my attitude then. If I walk in late, and then I will walk on the other side so nobody will see me. <laughs> Then I saw Evelyn, Cora, you know, those people that I walk with. I said, mm -hmm. okay, I'll give it a try. So I tried one time and then I kept going there from that time. Yes, you know. We already 18 years here in uh, Long Beach, but we don't even know our neighbors. I go to work in Hudson, go home, and that's it. Now, but I found myself enjoying when I joined the um, FMC Walking Club. I know my friends and our neighbors. I know that there are so many Filipinos around and uh, they are also friendly. I needed to exercise, so I started walking in that park. And that's when I met the Filipinos walking in the park. So we became friends. And then we started going together on trips and stuff. And we became a part of each other through community. From there, uh, you can uh, talk to other people, uh, get uh, to know what's going on in the community. You can enjoy uh, the company instead of just alone. I like because, you know, i well informed about what's happening in the community. That's the, the one thing that I like to, to go, like a little Christmas, a little news, Christmas. right? Because Christmas. if you really stay at home, you didn't, you didn't, say, you didn't know what's happening in the community. You always see your husband. Like you, you have... <laughs> Once you talk, you cannot stop talking. <laughs> Not only do we walk with folks, but we started to do all sorts of programs. We partnered with Families in Good Health, at a St. Mary's Medical Center, and it was a partnership with the Asian Pacific Islander Obesity Prevention Alliance and the American Heart Association. So we started doing these blood pressure checks and education. Before we go for a walk, they check our blood pressure. Then after that, check our blood pressure also. It's a nice thing to know what's going on with your body. We also have guest speakers from the pharmacy give us pointers about the right way of taking the medications and all that. And also students from Cal State who are studying to be um, physical therapists, they help us with the exercise. It's a way for them to learn and also for us to observe what they're trying to tell us. It's a big help and it's free. And then the API Obesity Prevention Alliance started bringing healthy vegetables and started doing uh, cooking lessons. The most important thing that I like is the cooking demonstrations where they taught us how to prepare Filipino food that are healthier. And so it became really about uh, wellness and health for the Filipino community and how can we track that and how can we change the way our Filipino communities eat, exercise, and just live their lives. And there's one thing good about the walking club is because each of us have our own garden, right? So every Saturday, he would bring uh, his ampalaya and his chayote and guavas and all that and gives them to all of us. And we also bring our calamansi and all that. I have a calamansi tree and before I just getting rotten, I just get the trash can and cut it and put in the trash can. But now I pick them up and take it there. People are enjoying it. And it's really nice sharing our produce instead of just letting it rot over there. <laughs> we also exchange recipes. I bring my uh, persimmon banana cake or muffins. They would uh, ask for the recipe and I share with uh, those people who like to cook. I like when we go, you know, parks and uh, marathon. I like marathon. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoy, especially the, you know, when the last time we go there in the <laughs> Chinatown, and then when we have the anniversaries, you know, <laughs> the Christmas parties, you know, you, you have to meet a lot of people that you don't know, and uh, you, talking to them, mingled with them. No, I get to enjoy meeting other people after that walking club. 
They've even uh, participated in other types of fundraisers like the Lockod 5K for the Lumad, which was a um, 5K walkathon fundraiser to raise money for a water system well for the Lumad indigenous people of Mindanao, Philippines. And that's also an exciting one because that's the first time I uh, went through a, a 5K in a place where we haven't been to and meeting all kinds of uh, people, especially uh, people that were brought from the Philippines. It's really tough for them. The worst thing is, uh, I don't know why they're being killed just because they want to just grab their land for some resources. The children are really one that will suffer. I wish every Filipino will uh, come together and start helping those people. The walking club started out as this walking and health thing, but it started to get folks more interested in community engagement. The Filipino Migrant Center, we've been working out of an office that's maybe 10 or 15 minutes away from the, from the west side, from the Filipino community, out of a church. But actually, we were really pushing for a west side office, an office right here close to the community where Filipinos are. And so the walking club members helped us with a petition gathering where we gathered over 200 signatures from Westside Long Beach families and the walkers themselves. They actually even went to Long Beach City Council and actually pushed the city council members to approve for us to have a Filipino Migrant Center office right here in this neighborhood. Well, I don't know that anybody can just go in there and talk in front of these of this city officials. I thought you have to be a special person just to go there and talk and voice your opinion. It was a good experience. It's really very beneficial for the Filipino community because we are aware, especially now that we have our new uh, office over here. I can say that to other people that I, I met. Okay, you go to Filipino Migrant Center in they have an yeah, office there. Some people there. So you can, they can help you. You know, words of mouth. I was really Amaze! Uh, these uh, youth are really getting involved, spreading uh, the Filipinos' need to unite in order to improve our uh, image in the community. Filipinos in the West Side, uh, we still have to really know each other. It's, no, there's a growing Filipino community in Long Beach, but we still don't know a lot of them. There's still a, little, a lot of uh, jobs to do to. Uh, work together so we can be a close community. But it's a good uh, club. Every Saturday, being there, meeting your friends. I'm so glad that I was one of the members of the walking club. If not for the FMC, I wouldn't have met Esther and you guys. Yeah, that's true. We mobilize, we organize, we share, we try to create community. We try to engage other people. We try to make them feel a part of something that is bigger than themselves in order to address the things that concern us and affect us in our lives every day. I just hope that we will be more, would be coming, you know, regularly. So I'm advising all those people, especially the old people, to, to join that. But that walking club is not only for old people. All ages is welcome. We don't really still have a lot of unity for us Filipinos, and we need that for our voice for the city. We could be united. We could have a louder voice in the future. We have to do something to unite all these uh, Filipinos in the west side. I'm inviting the seniors to join the walking club every Saturday here at Thorson Park. So come and join us. Lakad para sa sawing palad Ikaw ay sasabay o ikaw ay ahad lang Lakad at tara sa bate ay cha-cha Lakad sabay-sabay sama-sama tawag ay marcha Lakad para sa sawing palad Ikaw ay sasabay o ikaw ay ahad lang Lakad at tara sa bate ay cha-cha Lakad sabay-sabay sama-sama tawag ay marcha Lakad mula ka ang taong monumento Hanap ng trabaho tapos na kontrata ko Bakit hindi nalang maging permanente Wala to libre piso ano tayo siniswerte Lakad sa bahay na tita ko 
para umutang pang patrikula ko bakit hindi na lang libre ito ito'y karapatan at hindi ito luho lakad doon sa may palengke masyado mahal patawad ba pwede bakit ang mahal ang presyo kahit asin hinatid pala na sasakyan mga bilihin lakad isang klase ng ersisyo kahit ano sobra kalusugan mapipiligro pamasahe taong ba hindi na kaya tila sa tuta talampakan na lang aasa lakad para sa sawing palad ikaw ay sasabay o ikaw ay hahad lang lakad at para sa bantay ay tsa-tsa lakad sabay-sabay sama-sama tawag ay marcha lakad para sa sawing palad ikaw ay sasabay o ikaw ay hahad lang lakad at para sa bantay ay tsa-tsa lakad sabay-sabay sama-sama tawag ay marcha lakad sa aking paaralan walang pasok kalsada bahana naman ang sikip na silid aralan bakit taon ang dadagdagan lakad doon sa may kanto makikibalita sa mga bago